Hey, what's up, everyone? Big D here. It's time to review Galavent, which is on ABC. This is episode three and four. Episode three is titled Two Balls. And episode four titled Comedy Gold. This is a spoiler review. If you've not seen the episode, please go to abc.com slash Galavent. Watch the full episodes there. And uh, it should take me less than two minutes to recap the, both episodes and give you my pros to cons, even my final score and my opinion on the episode. Uh, so not much happened, man, in episode three when we think about it. Uh, first off, Sydney, which is uh, Gallivant's squire, he uh, there. There's this land called Sid Sydney Land, and he's adopted Sydney, and he com comes home, and Gallivant is his squire, and the uh, back at the kingdom in Val Val Valsili It's hard to say. This guy has literally no balls. And the executioners are uh, with drums, and you know, because basically the wife, it, King Arthur's wife, is still messing around with the jester, and he's trying to. He doesn't notice it yet, but he's trying to be funny. He wants he wants people to enjoy themselves and have a party. He wants that. So, um, Gallivant and this guy start singing "Jackass in a Can." That's a song, and they start roasting King Arthur. He's like, "Come on, all of you are miserable. Tell me, tell me what you want." And they're like. You're so stupid, he doesn't even know that it's the priest, the queen is messing with the jester. And he's like, kill, kill the eunuch. So the eunuch uh, reveals wife's cheating, and uh, that's basically episode three. Uh, episode four, which is comedy gold. They sing a song in the beginning, Gallivant, uh, Sydney, and the girl. They sing together, you know. We sleep together, eat together, all that. Uh, and then Galvin has a big finish, and he's like, You told me I'd have a big finish. You told me. Really cool. Uh, they get bandits. Bandits capture them. Um, I like how King Arthur tries to kill the jester, but he's like, I'm joking. I'm joking. Now you need to teach me how to be a joker. So they're pirates that Galvin's with, and they sing a song called Lords of the Sea. And while the jester is singing with King Arthur about comedy gold, and uh, the pirate's guy's name is Peter Pilliger, Pillager, and um, of course the king does a joke show and he hits Gareth with a pie. Uh, that's pretty funny, man. So after that, they help get uh, Gallivan helps get the boat off this cliff for the pirates, and the jester is tortured at the end or at least sent to the dungeon. But Gallivan is on his way to Valencia, Valencia, to go get his bride or his ex-girlfriend, his old flame away from the horrible, horrible King Arthur. I think it's King Arthur, right? Anyway. Yeah, oh my gosh, just let, let's get on this man. Pros to cons. Let, let me let me start off with my pros first. It has the humor. These two episodes have humor. Now, what I will say is episode one and two had better humor. Way better humor, you know. I wanna shoot him with a crossbow and all that and you know Stand about where the sun don't shine and everything, all that, and Gallivant singing and he, John Stamos, and all that. But this humor, this is into funny, funny episodes. But I still prefer one and two for funny wise. Uh, the King, King Arthur, who is the man who plays King Arthur? I believe he came out in Supernatural. Timothy. I, am I saying King Arthur, King Richard? See, I get mixed up with King Arthur, King Richard. Excuse me, King Richard. Timothy Almondelson. I totally butchered that name, man. I'm so sorry. You are freaking awesome. He's He makes the show awesome. Uh, the whole other cast is good, but he's the one who's just... You know, I do that every time while he's on screen, and I laugh. And no one else laughs at his jokes. Literally, he's like, Hey, how many people does it take to uh, stop a war? More than you have. <laughs> and no one laughed, but I totally laughed. Um, the music... I like the music in this episode, but I, st I still prefer uh, uh, last week's episode of music. Way better. But still, the music was good this week. I mean, nothing uh, nothing to complain about, I guess. The cons. This two episodes were a little bit slow in the pacing. It's like episode three, we were in Sydney land. We weren't doing much. We were just in Sydney land the whole time with Gallivan. And then episode four, they're already gone from Sydney land. They don't even stay by the Sydney land or anything. They're just... All right, that's it. Episode three, Sydney Land. <laughs> Don't even say that they left or anything. It's just episode four. They're on the road again. On the road again. That's it. This, these two episodes lacked Galavan. Now Galavan was obviously in the show and everything, but 
he just wasn't in there, like, involved as King Richard was, or um, most of the other characters. He wasn't involved as much. He barely spoke less than 50 words, you know, and it's his show. So it lacked Gallivant, and there was... I know it's a musical, and I like musicals, but too much music where it was kind of a waste, like that, uh... There was just some songs that were like, really, you don't have to s start singing right now. Like, last week, they didn't have seven songs in the show. It was just three, four, five separate songs. But this one was like, overdoing it with songs like, every ten seconds, let's sing a musical, and then they start dancing. It's just like, okay, it's not necessary. I like the song, but it's really not necessary. This song is not ne a necessity to even have. But overall, I'm going to give Gallivan two balls and comedy gold a B plus. I definitely like the series premiere better last week, but still, it's enjoyable. These episodes, there's a slow pace to it, and it's slow. It's a little bit boring at points. Just a little like, oh, well, uh-huh. Gallivan's a squire, really? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Funny. And then just, you know, right out of it. King Richard definitely sold the show, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this Galavant review. I'm working on my librarians. I'll see you guys next week on, uh, what, what, what's the date? January 18th for the, another another two episodes of Galavant. Thank you guys again for watching. Hit that like button if you guys are uh, like the review or if you love Galavant so much. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video. Let everyone know Galavant only has two more weeks left to air on ABC. As always, comment down below. Let me know what you think about the review and of Galvin itself. Where do you think the show's going? Will he get his love back or will King Richard have her forever? May the spot be with you always.